I want to come to a couple of important abstracts that we saw at this meeting. One is the duration of immune checkpoint inhibition. Uh, I wouldn't say we had a definitive answer, but there were some hints as to how long you give the immune checkpoint inhibitor. Dr. David Spiegel presented the study of uh, nivolumab where some patients received checkpoint inhibition indefinitely and some for a defined duration. Uh, can you walk us through what your thoughts are about that trial and what we should do for our patients? So the trial was a randomized trial of continuous nivolumab or a uh, um, and a watch strategy so, so that you stop and, and follow the patient and reintroduce nivolumab in case of disease progression. Um, while the PFS curves are very clear that continuous nivolumab after one year of nivolumab in the patients with, that still benefit from the drug is better. The overall survival curves, mm, there is a trend for the benefit of continuous nivolumab, but the data are not mature. Uh, I think it's, it's an important information and um, we will have the data on should we stop at two years or go on after two years. For me this data really means that we should not stop immunotherapy after one year, even in the patient with partial response. Um, it's, it definitely will change my practice. So this is uh, a study that was relatively small in size and per perhaps not the perfect design to answer the duration of therapy question, but provide some early hints on what is uh, potentially the duration of therapy. Yes, well, well it's, it's in, in practice is not changing anything because uh, uh, the number of patients, there are technical f issues in that study because they started uh, with more than uh, uh, 1,200 patients and the randomization has been done in less than uh, 240, 230 patients. So it means to me that probably uh, the most important uh, study to be done is not uh, uh, this type of study, but it's uh, a study that is looking about the opportunity to continue uh, immunotherapy for those patients who are in CR or PR. And probably we need to do a randomized discontinuation study in those patients with uh, disease stabilization. That could be another study that will tell us if we need to go ahead for two years or we can stop earlier. The other point, we need to factor the activity with the to toxicity. There is a minority of patients that are getting some degrees of toxicity. This is something that we need also to consider. I agree with Benjamin that uh, probably two years is the right way to move forward. The other, the other uh, point is that uh, I, I know that there are people that are reluctant to offer uh, immunotherapy for two years, but I truly believe that if we are aiming to make lung cancer a chronic disease, we need to accept the idea of treatment, uh, uh, of, of continuing treatment for a long period of time. Because I make just an example to every one of you. In metabolic diseases, when you are starting treatment, you are not stopping treatment. In a, in a diabetic patient, you are not stopping insulin after two or three years, but you are going along with the same treatment for all, all his life, or her life. So consequently, I believe that we should stay with the, with the standard. We, we don't have any evidence why we should stop after two years but uh, it is what it is. And uh, this is what we saw in the context of clinical trials, that we need to stay around the results of the randomized clinical studies. The, so, um, sorry, the, the one point is that the half-life of this drug, nivolumab, marbolizumab, batizolumab, is very long. It's more than 25 days. And nivolumab is given at the moment each two weeks. So for a very, long period, it can be a bit difficult for the patient. So in that practice, I will tell the patient it will be a very long treatment, but we can skip one or two injections time to time if you want to go to vacation or take one month. I have absolutely no issue with that. So I think we should continue the, the treatment, but be very flexible with the patient if we want to skip an injection. Right.
So, Maria, do you have any specific additional thoughts on this duration issue? No, I totally agree with you. I think that the biggest problem uh, is uh, th for those problems who are in the complete remission. I have some patients uh, still in the checkmate 0, 17 and 57 that are still on drugs after about four years. So uh, I think that in this kind of patients with the PET scan and the CT scan, which is totally negative, uh, uh, sometimes you have the feeling that maybe you can stop, but uh, we need further data for this. 